Hello, hello, I'm Albert Siegel, and today I want to talk to you about eye tracking autofocus. It's often listed as one of the main reasons to switch to mirrorless cameras, but is this feature exclusive to mirrorless? Prior to eye tracking, many photographers would use center point autofocus, aim for the eye, and recompose the frame. It's a technique that worked fine for ages, but is limiting in regards to movement. With eye tracking autofocus, the model can now freely move around, and you can still manage a pretty good keeper rate with focus where you actually want it. This is actually one of the reasons many photographers switch to mirrors, not thinking that it would be possible with a DSLR. But for those of us who prefer an optical viewfinder and want some of the features of mirrorless, well, there are some options. The Nikon D6 and D780 both offer eye tracking autofocus in the optical viewfinder, but with Pentax being the only camera maker to openly commit to continuing development of SLRs, I'll just talk about their K3 Mark III. For this shoot, I'm working with Japan-based model and actress Nika Sakurai, who was kind enough to volunteer for this video. Please do show her your appreciation by following her on Instagram. As you can see from this viewfinder capture, the AF point follows her eye pretty well, even though not keeping still. It's fantastic to have the freedom of movement while shooting. It makes for a more natural look in the final image, which I really appreciate. While loading the images onto my computer, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, since a smaller screen of a camera can often fool you, but I was pleasantly surprised at the keeper rate I got once I got everything onto my workstation screen. Well, anyway, let's look at the results. And that's it. Not much else I can say other than it works and far better than I could have expected. For those of you on the fence as to whether or not to get a mirrorless camera over this feature, well, it's one less thing to worry about. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can also support future videos through Patreon or a one-time donation in the description below. Again, thanks so much, and have an awesome day.